understanding why traditional batting practice is set up the way it is. Um, a lot of a lot of guys, especially you know the high school college guys, they start hitting on the field and stuff. They tend to kind of complain about the way it's structured, and I think the only reason why they complain is because they don't understand it. So let's kind of first you know discuss a traditional round. You know, the first round, typically, you get, you know, about eight, ten swings, and you're really just trying to hit the ball the other way. And then, you know, that second round, it consists of situational hitting. And then the remaining two to four to five rounds, whatever it is, now you're working on, you know, what you want to work on. You know, and a lot of guys don't understand why it's set up the way it is, and I feel like a lot of them are wasting some valuable time just swinging the bat, you know. When I was in high school, my my high school coach, Darnell Coles, you know, a former big leaguer for 15 years, explained to me why batting practice is set up the way it is. And here's what he told me. He goes, the first round of batting practice where we're just trying to hit the ball the other way, we're trying to feel our swing, but the reason why is because we want to get the feeling of our swing, but we we also want to get the feeling of letting the ball travel rather than reaching out for the ball to hit it. And, and when we and when we hit the ball the other way, we're forcing ourselves to to wait. We got to wait longer to hit the ball, and we want to create as much time as possible. And feel like we're slowing the ball down with our eyes and, and by the way we react to the baseball. Okay, so we're trying to feel our swing. We're trying to get the feeling of letting the ball get deep. We're trying to slow, our, slow the baseball down in our in our eyes. Okay. Um, the next thing we want to do, you know... The last thing you really want when you're taking your batting practice, when you first start off, it, it to be, you know, jumpy, you know, feel like you're out in front of everything, you know. So feel, get, get, feel your swing and get your eyes and your body working together, okay? That's the purpose of the first round. So the second round he went through, and it's all about situational hitting. And this is all about barrel control. This is what the scout and the college coaches are looking for. They want people that can control the barrel to be able to put the ball where they want it, okay? So you'll have a a hit and run round where you need to hit a ground ball to the opposite side of the field, preferably, okay? And you would say you'll hit three, three pitches of that, okay? And the next one you're gonna have move the runner from second to third, and you can do this by hitting the ball to right field and or you can try and hit the ball deep so that the guy can tag up and go to third. Okay, so you'll get about three swings of that, you know, four swings, whatever it is. And then the last one you have, you know, score the guy from third base to home. And this is what we're doing. Is, you know, if the infielders are in, then you want to get a sack fly. You want to get that ball in the air. You want to get the ball up and get it in the air and drive it so the guy can score. Now, if the infield is back, you can hit a ground ball um, and still score the run. Okay, so that's situational hitting, uh, the barrel control. You know, if you get about four swings, I would take uh, two with the infielders in, two with the infielders back, just to kind of work on being able to hit the ball where you want. Okay. And then the remaining round, it, it goes on something like this. You're going to get another two to four, maybe five rounds. Um, or maybe you get less. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but here's the thing. A lot of guys, when they get to this round, they waste a lot of time. Because now they're just swinging away with no purpose. Okay? They are not really getting ready for the game. So you need to have a routine and you need to have a purpose for each round that you take. You know, if you if you've ever watched big leaguers take batting practice, uh, you know they're working on stuff each round, and they're using they're not using their their last two four rounds five rounds to try and hit home runs all over the place. You know, try to hit it as far as they could. 
So you need to start thinking about your 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 batting practice routine, and learn to kind of move the ball over the field, uh, drive the baseball into the gaps, and hit the ball off the off screen. Whatever it is, develop a plan or develop a routine and stuff that you can work on prior to batting practice, rather than just showing up. Hey, coach, I'm here, and I'm just gonna swing away. Have a plan on what you want to work on and try to be consistent with it because the more you have a plan with what you want to do up there, the better off you're going to be. Okay? So understand there's a reason why the traditional batting practice holds up. You know, and I, I just wish more coaches would tell the players why it's set up and why it's important because most guys don't have a clue and they feel like they're wasting some rounds because they have to do this, let the ball get deep, and or they've got to do situational hitting. So, you know, so it, it's very important. You know, um, the first two rounds are going to be super important. Let that ball get deep, see the ball, slow the game down, and then being able to control the barrel to be able to hit the ball where you want it. So I hope this gives you some insights on, you know, the why traditional batting practice set up the way it is.